In our previous lesson, we saw how to find the parameter of a figure. Let's take a quick review of what we talked about it. So if you need to find the parameter of this figure, this is a rectangle, and we know that opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So this means that also here we have got six centimeters. Now, if we have got four centimeters here, then this one will also be four centimeters. Since we know that perimeter is the distance around the figure, it means that we are going to get our perimeter as six plus four plus six plus four, okay? And this will give us 20 centimeters. So that's how basically we get the perimeter. Add all the sides of the figure to come up with perimeter. Okay. For this, uh, this is a trapezium. You can also call it a trapezoid. Now, uh, this side is equal to this side. So if you have five centimeters, this will also be five centimeters. Now, its perimeter will be 10 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7. And this will give us 27 centimeters. So that is what we call the perimeter. Sometimes you may encounter a problem where you need to find the perimeter of a figure that has got like a part of a circle. Let's say you need to find the perimeter of a semicircle or like a quadrant. So to do that, you must first of all know what we call circumference. So right now, let's talk about circumference so that we can be able to find the perimeter of shapes like a semicircle, like a quadrant, like three quarters of a circle, so now let's talk about circumference. After we have understood circumference very well, we'll be able to find like the perimeter of a semicircle, uh, perimeter of a quadrant, three quarters of a circle, the sector of a circle uh, whose angle is not 90 degrees and is not 180 degrees, you know? So, after understanding what we call circumference and how to find it, we will be able to find the perimeter of shapes like this. Okay, now circumference means the distance around the circle, distance around the circle. So that's what we call circumference, distance around a circle. Now, given a circle like this, if this is the center, the distance from any part of a circle like this, this is actually what we call circumference, the distance around the circle. Now, uh, from circumference to the center, you have what we call radius. And then also this is known as radius. Okay, and then the distance from circumference through the center of a circle to the circumference is what we call diameter. So in short, diameter means radius plus radius. In one diameter, we have got two radii, okay? So in short, we can say that diameter is the same as two R, okay? Now, when we need a circumference, in a short, we can call it C, circumference. We are going to be using the formula 2 pi r, okay? Or if you do not want to use 2 pi r, you can say circumference is equal to pi d. Reason being that this 2 and this r will form D. 
So it is the same as when you say pi d and then the same as when you say 2 pi r, okay? We all know that pi is a constant. Pi can be um, 22 out of seven, or it can also be approximately uh, equal to 3.14, okay? Now let's say we need to find the circumference of this circle. And we have got the radius as seven centimeters. So we are going to come and say that circumference is given by the formula two pi r, okay? Now, let's say pi is 22 out of seven. So we will come up and say that this is two times 22 out of seven times r, r stands for radius and radius is seven, so times seven. So we can cancel this seven and this seven will remain with the two times 22. And this will give us 44 centimeters. Now this means that the distance around this circle is 44 centimeters. So that's what we call the circumference. So in short, circumference is the perimeter of a circular figure. All the distance around the circle, all the perimeter of a circle is what we call circumference. Okay, now let's say we have got this problem. Find the perimeter of the semicircle below. Pi is 22 out of seven. Remember, perimeter is the distance around the figure. So this means that to get this perimeter, we need to know how many centimeters do we have here? After knowing that, we will add there this 40. So we'll get the distance around this figure. Okay, now first of all, let us know the distance around this part, the length of this curve, okay? Now, you can see that this is a part of a circle. Now, the distance around the whole circle is two pi r, but since is since this is half of a circle, it will be a half, two pi r, or the circumference of a whole circle, then we divide it by two. So let's first get that. So this is a half times two times pi, 22 out of seven times radius. Now, we need radius, but now this is the diameter. So since the diameter is 14, then radius will be 14 divided by two. So that will be seven. So we are going to multiply by seven, okay? So this seven can go with this seven, then this two can go with this two, and then we remain with 22 centimeters. So that is the length of this arc or length of this curved part. So this is the same as 22 centimeters. Now that we know that, we can find the perimeter. So it means that perimeter will be the length of this arc, which is 22 centimeters plus this length, which is 14. And now we get 22 plus 14, that is 36 centimeters. So the distance around this semicircle is equal to 36 centimeters. I hope you understand that very, very well. So you can see how knowing circumference is very, very important. So if we cannot know circumference, then we cannot find the perimeter of this semicircle, okay? 
All right, let's see. Number two, find the perimeter of the quadrant below. This time we are going to use pi as 3.14. And we know that to get the perimeter of this quadrant, we need to first get the length of this arc. Now, a quadrant is a quarter of a circle, okay? All, a whole circle is 360 degrees. And a quadrant has got its center angle as 90 degrees. So if you get 90 out of 360, that makes the whole circle, you get a quarter. Or in short, you can call it a quarter of a circle, like a quadrant. So this length will be a quarter of the circumference of a whole circle. Circumference of a whole circle is two pi r. So a quarter of two pi r. So let's get that. A quarter mm -hmm, times two times pi 3.14 times the radius of 10. This is the radius, okay? So times 10. So we can divide four by two to get two and by two we get one. And by two here we get one, here by two we get five. So we get 3.14 times five. 3.14 times five. So that will give us 15.7. So 15.7 centimeters. So it means that here we have got 15.7 centimeters. Now let's get the perimeter. We add all the sides. So here it is 15.7, here it is 10, and this is also 10 because uh, this is also radius. So we have 10 plus 10 plus 15, Point seven, So this will be 35.7 centimeters. So that is the distance around this quadrant. I hope you have understood that very, very well. Okay, now you can see how important knowing circumference is. So like this is a quadrant, a quarter of a circle, get the circumference of a whole circle divided by four to get the length of this arc. Okay, if it is like a semicircle, then the length of that arc, you get the circumference of a whole circle, you divide it by two, like that. Now let us get the final example. Find the perimeter of the figure below. So you can see this figure is three quarters of a whole circle. You see this is a quarter, a quarter, and a quarter. So this is three quarters. Now it implies that the length of this arc, okay, or you may call it a curve, it's up to you. So it will be three out of four a quarter plus a quarter plus a quarter, three out of four, then times the circumference of a whole circle, you see? So this means that we get three out of four times two times pi, 22 out of seven times radius, which is seven, okay? Now this seven can be canceled with this seven. Four by two, we get two, and two by two, we get one. By two, we get one. By two, we get 11. Now we have 11 times three, okay? So 11 times three is 33 now meters. This is the length of this curve, 33 meters. Now, this is radius, it is seven, and here it is also seven. So, the perimeter 
will then be 33 plus 7 plus 7. Okay, I hope that is okay. So this will give us 47 meters. So that is the distance around this figure. 33, 7, and 7. So that's how we find the perimeter of shapes that have got curves. So I hope everything is okay. Thanks for attending our lesson and goodbye for today.